a striking face. Not just conventionally pretty, much more than that. Damned attractive. In November of 1927, the prisoner, worn out, as she tells us, by his unceasing importunities, mesmerized old being, consented to live on terms of intimacy with him She's got you completely outside the bonds of marriage. Lord Peter Wimsey. Come from Mr. Crofts. Yes. I um, heard the case and all that, and I thought there might be something I could do to help, don't you know? That's very good of you. Have I got this right? You are proposing marriage to me? Absolutely right. Do you do this all the time, Lord Peter? <laughs> Only when I'm serious. You are bearing in mind, aren't you, that I've had a lover? Oh, yes. So have I. Or several, in fact. It's uh, the sort of thing that could happen to anyone. I can uh, produce quite good testimonials. I'm told I make love rather nicely. I wish I weren't so jealous of Philip Boys. I wanted to be, but I am. And you always will be. Oh, no. If you married me, I shouldn't be jealous. If anybody does marry you, Peter, it'll be for the pleasure of hearing you talk piffle. You have been wonderful, the way you... The way you've supported me and acted on my behalf. It was nothing. You are the woman I would spend the rest of my life with. How else could I behave? You're such a romantic, Peter. A sort of latter-day knight errant, searching for opportunities to perform deeds of valour, rescue damsels in distress. What's wrong with that? I've had a lover, Peter. I've been accused of murdering him. I'm not going to rush into another affair. Marriage? Marriage affair. What's the difference? It's supposed to be love, isn't it? Damn everything. Care for more coffee, my lord? The emotions bunter. What a terrible thing. May I come into your parlour? Peter! What on earth brings you here? Famous author finds body on beach. So, here I am, like a bird that hears the call of its mate. I didn't call. I meant the body. Oh. But, talking of mates, will you marry me? Certainly not. I'm a brute and should be kicked from here to see Hampton. And when time allows, I shall go down on my knees and apologize, and probably propose to you at the same time. <laughs> Peter, what an idiot you are. Aren't I, though? Will you marry me? Or failing that, will you come with me to Darley Garage and, and commune with Mr. Polis? I will. Let us be gone. What? The latter. They thought I was doing my health and beauty exercise. And not one of them wasted. Peter, I wish you wouldn't. I'd like to. Say silly things you don't mean. Or even if you do mean them, I wish you wouldn't. You make it very difficult for me. I can't help my feelings. I wish you'd stop meddling in my affairs. 
I know I'm supposed to be grateful, and I suppose you think that if you go on protecting me long enough, I'll eventually be softened and weakened and... Fall into my arms. Oh, Harriet, do give me the credit for a little intelligence. I can't fight. I'm too tired. You don't seem to know what tired means. Stop. Let go. I won't be bullied. Please go away, Peter. Leave me alone. I'm sorry I couldn't last you ago. It's all my fault. You're in an awkward situation. I'm in an awkward situation. I'd like to make a proposal to you. No, not that one. I'll try not to say silly things, even if I think them on you. I'll try not to be stupid and ungracious. Parrot, I'm going to break our agreement and ask you something. Please don't. All right. But the next time you find yourself in trouble, you might conquer your independent spirit and send for me. I might. Bunter, do you ever doubt that we can bring it off? Affairs of state, my lord. I think we are uniquely qualified to go where the foreign office fear to tread. Hmm. How about affairs of the heart? Ah, that is a uncharted sea. Racked by storm and tempest. Today, you have the impulse to telephone, which can only mean that you felt relaxed and carefree and ready for the wit and epigram that only I can provide. Tell me I'm right. I presume too much, haven't I? How do you suppose it is that capers, liquefied butter, and skate wings come together in such magical combinations? Talking of magical combinations, how about completing the evening and condescending to be my wife? That would be a caper of quite a different sort. Uh, I intend to take a punt on the river in the morning. Shall you come? I never resist a challenge. That's why I love you. Isn't it time you faced facts? I've been facing one fact for some time now. If I once gave way to Peter, I should burn up like straw. That is moderately obvious. How often does he use the knowledge of that as a weapon against you? Never. Never. Then what are you afraid of? Yourself? Maybe. You may have noticed that I haven't proposed to you whilst I've been in Oxford. Yes, I have noticed that. The fact is I'm afraid that anything you say here will be final. No going back. That is a risk. I say, this arcade's rather jolly. The touch of Vanborough. Harriet, you know I love you. Will you marry me? Dear idiot.